Hello and welcome to session four of our microeconomics class. Um, today is going to be kind of a continuation of session three. We'll talk more about game theory and how that applies to public policy and why we're even talking about game theory. Again, it's kind of a weird way of thinking about the world, but it is important. Um, and it, it does reveal important insights about how people cooperate or don't cooperate. And so we do care about that, um, especially when you're designing policies um, that help encourage people to have different types of behavior. So we're going to look at um, uh, good ways of designing policy with um, game theory um, principles in mind. So the plan for today, if we look at the slides here, um, we're going to... Um, talk about economic models in general and why we do these, these weird models with fake numbers um, and, and why we even care about this stuff. Then we'll talk about this idea of pulling policy levers. At the end of session three, we briefly mentioned um, that you can change the incentives um, in, or change the payoffs to make it so that people end up in, in good socially optimal um, situations instead of the bad defection situations. And you can do that with public policy, but it does come with some risks. And so we'll talk about the risks of, of pulling these levers um, and how you have to be careful when you do that. Um, then we'll talk about this idea of power and efficiency and um, something that is often not talked about in economics classes, this idea of power and fairness and equity and who has access to these policy levers and which outcomes are best for everybody. Um, so far, we've been talking about kind of collective good, um, where if all of society is better off because you end up at one outcome, that's great. Um, but in economics land, they don't care about that as much. You care more about this idea of efficiency or Pareto efficiency, where if you choose an outcome that might hurt one person, um, you're not going to want to choose that because you want to choose an outcome that is better for everybody and never hurts one specific person, including if that person is a rich billionaire. Um, according to economic theory, you should never do anything that will take away from their wealth. Um, the, even if it benefits kind of society as a whole. And so that's this is the idea of efficiency. We'll talk more about that. And then we'll talk about this notion of fairness um, and what constitutes fairness. We'll look at a, a few different conceptions of fairness, one uh, based on uh, philosopher John Rawls, his idea of fairness, and then some other situations of fairness and how you can apply that to public policy and to this whole idea of game theory and policy levers. And it all it will all combine and should be fun and exciting. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> 